When I started streaming Season of the Worthy, which, by the way, you should be checking that out. I mean, I have a Twitch link, Chibi Robo one go check it out. <laughs> Shameless plug. Um, <laughs> I had people come in, in my chat telling me, hey, why don't you check out the ritual weapons? Why don't you look at them and the collections and stuff? And every time I was asked that in the beginning of the stream, I was like, eh, well, hold on. I don't want to spoil it for myself yet. I'll look at them in a bit. Um, and come to find out, somebody in my chat told me, hey, there is no ritual weapons. But it is confirmed that we are at least getting one. One in Iron Banner, which I'll talk about that one in a, in a later time in this video, though. But, um... Basically, when I was given this information, everyone wanted to know what are my thoughts on this information. Now, when it comes to this season alone, I kind of compare it to Season of the Drifter, where it was basically in the middle and almost turned into like a, a here's a season, but it's not going to be as big as the first or last one because it's just, yeah, because we're used to always just getting two DLCs per year, not three well apparently they consider us getting four seasons uh because the vex offensive season of undying was a season when i'm like that's shadow keep <laughs> um but with this season i wasn't expecting too too much but i was at least expecting that they've learned since season the drifter that the way that they did that season was not okay and uh these seasons are meant to keep our attention for the three months till the next one and normally ritual weapons keep that attention because there's something to grind towards and play around with because normally these weapons are pretty fun to mess with or they're at least pretty interesting enough to where you're going to want to acquire them and check them out. Some of them not so much uh, of, of being interesting or really that good <coughs> Komodo, <laughs> uh, but... When it comes to ritual weapons, I understand their importance. They were originally considered pinnacle, which were these really almost exotic-like legendaries, but since then they changed it to where it's like, hey, we're just going to make this weapon have, like, kill clip, but just with really good perks and stuff. Uh, basically, like, Randy's throwing knife and stuff. And it's just a ritual weapon. They still have static rolls, but they're not, like, anything game breaking or like exotic like or anything along those lines so most people are kind of expecting to see these weapons every single season now with that being said there is at least one ritual weapon before i give my thoughts on all this and a lot of people have already told me what it is i already knew that this was going to be coming out but i didn't know it was a ritual weapon i thought it was just going to be a random drop but uh, if you don't want to be spoiled on what it is, it's tied to Iron Banner, then just cover your ears for 10 seconds, okay? It's a bow. It's, it's a bow, okay? So, bottom line is, that's the ritual weapon, and I gotta say this, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't really enjoy bows, so any bow users out there, well, have, have fun with that, but either way, it... It has Iron Banner have, at first time, like, have a ritual weapon, which they should do all the time, but all the other activities do not have any. So here's my thoughts. One, yes, it's very disappointing to not see any ritual weapons inside of this season other than Iron Banner. But at the same time, I gotta say, because of this being a almost like Season of the D uh, Drifter, where it's not going to be as big, in my opinion, as like the first season or third season. I'm not really freaking out, because so far I'm really enjoying the new PvE activity. I'm looking forward to trying out Trials. I'm liking that they brought back some classic maps, and, you know, there's some good weapons out there. We got exotic quests to do. The story looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. Legendary Lost Sectors are pretty fun, but who knows if they'll keep my attention. You know, things in the season go hand-to-hand. -hand. So if the season shows that it's not really that great at all, then those ritual weapons being gone is going to make this a bigger deal. But I also say that when it comes to ritual weapons, we 
I think at this point, might as well say we are getting a year four of Destiny 2. Normally in Destiny 1, we would get three years and then Destiny 2 would be out. But instead, we're getting a year four and most likely another four seasons of content. Uh, well, technically three. The fourth one, well, the first one being the DLC that comes out inside of the fall. But either way, we're going to have that again. So what does that mean? Well, if you do the math, three ritual weapons per, per DLC season and stuff, that's a lot of ritual weapons to think of. And granted, I know a lot of you were like, well, they should be doing that. Okay. That's kind of why I personally, on my end, is that if next season has ritual weapons, okay. If they don't do ritual weapons anymore, now that's kind of disappointing because they are something to grind towards. It's something fun to do, and I feel like Bungie should definitely at least do that. I mean, there are other big issues inside of Destiny that I've talked about in previous videos like Vendor Refresh, the fact that there is no reason to um, turn in tokens to the Crucible, the Vanguard and stuff. There's no new weapons at all when it comes to those vendors including iron banner well other than that ritual weapon and uh that's one of the biggest issues i have ritual weapons being where they are i honestly feel like they should have a place in almost every single season but if this is the only time they're gonna take a break from doing that that's okay and honestly i'm like whoa Iron Banner getting a uh, ritual weapon, why don't you do that all the time? Because then it adds more excitement to doing the Iron Banner uh, event when it comes out. I don't know. But either way, I think we can all agree that when it comes to the ritual weapons, not every single one's the best, but they're still fun to grind, right? Even for Komodo, I'm pretty sure a lot of you went in the Crucible and we're spamming Arbalist. Why? Because you thought uh, Komodo was the best weapon in the game? No. It was basically something to check off on doing your quests and to collect. Granted, that's more lines of proving that Bungie needs to make better weapons and not just go, well, you know, we haven't done a linear fusion for Crucible as a pinnacle. Why don't we do that? It's like, why don't you ha like switch the roles? Do a sidearm for crucible linear fusion for vanguard and make it really good uh for like boss damage and stuff and then the gambit one will be what was it for uh actually yeah the gambit one was uh what and uh actually what was the gambit one? oh yeah shotgun so you can keep that one just switch the vanguard and the crucible one that's it um, or you could do the linear fusion, fusion in Gambit and just make it really good for PvE as well. I mean, come on. Either way, the point is is that ritual weapons are are fun to play with. They're fun to grind for, and it's disappointing to see them gone. Do you? Do I think that it's the end of the world? It makes the season completely uh, poopy, trash, or whatever. Not really. We have to kind of wait and see how this season goes, and then we can. E you know, evaluate an opinion about everything. Uh, so we'll wait on that. But I'm still gonna say that ritual weapons should probably have a place somewhere inside the grind. But we don't have it other than one this season. But I want to know your thoughts down below. Like, do you honestly feel like ritual weapons? are very important to you do you really think that every season they should have three as in one for crucible one for vanguard and one for gambit or do you think that it would be okay to just be like oh you know this mid-season okay i'm fine with no ritual weapons just give us some new weapons somewhere that i can grind towards that are really good and fun to use then i'll be fine i want to know because i've had n uh, many different views when uh it came to my streams where people have come in the chat saying well i'm fine with it to oh my god it's the end of the world 
there's no ritual weapons. So again, I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for listening as usual, and you should be checking out my streams. Again, link is always below. <laughs> Shameless plug. But I want all of you to have a chibi-tastic day, night, evening, wherever you are. Have a chibi-tastic time. Thank you so much for listening. Chibi out.